Hello, my friends, and welcome to the September haul. Oh, got so many things here to share with you. I'm very excited. I got my Coffee Monsters Co. order in. I got my Every Minute of Story order, my Sweet Kawaii. I got so much good stuff here. So I'm going to kind of make all of this go away for a second. Um, and then we'll do the big box first, just so I can get it out of the way, which is my September Scentsy box. So I'm kind of excited because all the fall stuff is out. So it looks like we got something fun, but I'm not 100% sure. I also have an order out with Scentsy right now, so I'm kind of wondering what happened to my order. But this says, it says it's a warmer, so we'll take a look at that. And then this is just ice, right? Is this just the ice thing? This should be my, yeah, these guys. Oh, it smells good in this bag. Let me tell you. I love fall. Can you tell? I'm a little bit crazy for fall. I'll make a pile behind me. And then we'll take this stuff out. Oh, they got the catalog in here, which I already saw the catalog, so it's cool. I made an order. All right. Which I'm surprised that this came before my order did, but let's take a peek. So this is the Harvest Collection. So this is all the new stuff that they have in. Um, yeah, yeah. I did already order stuff. So it looks like fall feeling I'm not going to open it because I usually give these to my daughter I don't usually hang stuff in my car um, and then I obviously I don't want my clothes smelling like pumpkin whatever but autumn road trip this is going to be fun so these are supposed to go inside of the little animals that you can get from them the, the buddies the scentsy buddies Ooh, that's strong but um, it actually works like a sachet so if you like the smell, you can put it in a drawer like of sweaters or something. See, it's got like the bag on the back. So it smells, it actually smells really good. That would be good for like fall sweaters, like a sweater drawer. I might do that because I have a sweater. I actually have a sweater bag, not just a sweater drawer. I wish I had that much space. Okay, then we have pumpkin cashmere is this one, which I'm going to open it because I have. So these fit inside of the wall. Let me see if there's a wall one. This right here. It's a little wall these are like perfectly this top comes off and then you set it right inside so uh, that's what size these are not necessary because you can just break off one of these which is what I do I never buy these oh my gosh oh guys it smells so good I didn't order this scent because I did order like a bunch of the I wish I could remember which one it might have been forever fall I think I ordered a bunch of those but now I kind of wish I had done this. So this one is pumpkin cashmere. I was worried about the cashmere part. I wasn't sure. But it's very pumpkin-y. Very pumpkin-y. Oh, I love that. Okay. I can tell pumpkin's my favorite. So Forever Fall is the one that I ordered. Oh my gosh. That is so good. So this is pumpkin and apple. That's what it smells like. It's a beautiful mix of pumpkin and apple. It smells delicious. So there's Forever Fall. And then this one I didn't order because I was also worried. White pumpkin and driftwood. It smells kind of like almost, it reminds me of like a bathroom scent. Like something that you would put in a bathroom, which I might do. The guest bath downstairs. We have company coming at the end of September. So I'll probably burn this one in their bathroom because I think that smells really good for a bathroom. And then there's this guy right here. So it says it's a Mod Sensi Warmer in Taupe. I don't know what it is, but like, I don't think I've ever seen one that looks like this before. But it's electric, so that's nice. If you know how much, uh, how expensive these warmers are, getting one in a box is wonderful. Like this is a pretty cheap one looks like because it's made out of plastic it's just kind of like really plain but it's got the little on off switch and then you just stick your little wax in there so this is a good one to put like on your desk at work um or in like a small space yeah i like that that's cool i did not order that i did order another wax burner that you that has the light this doesn't have a light so i think this just warms up let me just double check yeah you just put the wax melt that's nice. So if if the light burns out, I guess you just throw it in the trash. It must be like a cheaper version of like what we normally get because I just ordered, I'm trying to think of, I got the spell books one for uh, Halloween and then I got the um, calendar count deck 
I think it's called Calendar Countdown Frankenstein one. I ordered that as well because it was on clearance and um, it's super cute. And my daughter, we were kind of hemming and hawing about picking it up at the fair because there was a sensi person at the fair that had it. But, you know, she wasn't, she didn't have it on clearance and I happened to see it on the website and I picked it up like right away. So that's coming. And now I have this. So the eight, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. I like that a lot. Okay, let me get rid of this box and then we'll start getting into the good stuff. What you, why you're here? You're here for stickers. You're not here for my Scentsy, but I love sharing it with you guys because, um, I don't know, it just seems like stickers and candles and good smelling stuff, they just all kind of go together, right? Planning with your candle burning. Oh, it's my favorite. Okay, so we're going to go with Sweet Quiet Design. So this is the November subscription and I get the one for the Hobonichi. And uh, I can tell you right now, this is one of my favorite subscriptions. Like, I love, 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 love this. And I have a list, thanks to one of my one of my uh, friends. She sent me a list of all the characters. So I'm going to write them down in my book so that I know who everybody is. Um, I think that's Poe. Um, I'll get there. I promise. I'll get there. But I know that's Poe. And uh, yeah, is that Frank? Uh, no, that's the Yeti. Gosh darn it. I don't know. Anyway, I'll get there. I promise. But here is Everybody Freebie, which is the November calendar, which is perfect to go inside of my Hobonichi Weeks, which is the next thing that I'm going to tell you is that I am going to add another subscription onto this. I'm going to add the Hobonichi Weeks and the monthly um, for the standard vertical, if that's possible. Or maybe, I don't know. I have to go back and check uh, all the stuff because now one of my favorite 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 things is the monthlies for us uh, I love her monthlies my, um I love the this right here this is my favorite page with all of the holidays on it so I have I don't think I've ever shown it but I have a standard vertical just monthly kit and that's where I keep all of the shop stuff in it all of like the sales coming up and the releases and all like the bills that are due and the things that I've ordered like all that goes in that particular and that's all it has is just monthlies and then in between it has blank pages where I put notes and I would love to be able to use this uh, sweet Kauai in there. I actually used one from last month in there and I love the way it came out. So I want that. Anyway, back to this. Sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. November. Look how stinking cute this is. <laughs> Feed me pie and tell me I'm pretty. I love that. This is the full sheet. It's a full sticker sheet. Set that off to the side. And then here is the subscriber freebie. So it tells you what her favorite pen is. Uh, to use like not yeah her favorite is the pilot multi-ball roller pen love these little extras that are on here oh, I love that and then you've got your monthly reveal monthly kit and then your monthly kit ships then this is like in a weird order so I'm just going to go in the order that it, they ship it in but here's all your dividers and your this week and then all of your extra boxes love this love 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 so remember this is for the cousin and there are a lot of pages. Here's your check boxes. And then your half boxes. Oh, that's cute. I love that. That's so cute. And then your full boxes. And you get two sets of these. So you've got plenty to go for a couple of weeks, which I love. And then you've got, oh, this is so cute. I love the little turkey. It's adorable. Yep, yep. Love it. Your weekend banner and your trackers. And then your other set of full boxes, which I love. And then your date covers and your date dots. And then your November. So this is your uh, monthly, your November monthly for the cousin. But in the cousin, I already bought and pre-labeled my cousin. It's not even a cousin. It's, you know, the A5, the Oristel A5. I already did all the monthlies with uh, Coffee Monsters Co. So these are just going to sit and wait for next year. Um, I've already ordered, pre-ordered my new Oristels. They're coming. So I will keep all of these together for that because I've already done the monthlies in the in the cousin so it's already done but this is your monthly and it's thinking adorable God, I wish I could put this in there and then your sidebar and then this has all of your um, holidays the fun holidays some extra icons at the bottom and I love that she puts paydays in there and then you've got tons of washi and some little extra boxes so this is like such a fun kit I absolutely love it she's such a good job on this anyway that is my subscription for the Hobonichi Cousin and this will be expanding quickly so next month you're going to see a lot more from that shop. Okay 
Next up, let's do Happy Daya. Ooh, look at how cute this is. I love this little monthly, like this fall. You can tell that this is my favorite time of year because I'm all about the fall stuff. It's love, love, love. And this is just stinking adorable. I love her artwork. She's so cute. Look at how cute this is. Look at him, the big face. Oh my gosh, I love this. So this is the monthly subscription that I get, but it's not monthly. I think it's every other month or every three months. I can't remember uh, exactly when it is, but this one's called Autumn Forest. It's adorable. There's a little washi in here, so I'll take it out and roll it so I can put it with my kit. Definitely gonna be using this soon. It's funny because whenever I try to go in and like, pull out kits that I want to use for the rest, you know, for the month, you know, how people pull all their stuff out. I always end up replacing it with stuff that comes in. So it's like, I don't even know why I bother. I just have to wait for the mail to come <laughs> and then decide from there what I actually want to use in my planner. Cause I always bump it for the new stuff that comes in. So let's do this. Oh, cute, 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 cute. I'll put a couple of them down so you can see. This is so tiny. So this is that super, super skinny washi. She does have other washi, like if you want to order regular. I think she even has a washi subscription. Just make sure that that's actually focused because I can't see it very well from my angle. But there you go. There. And then this is something new that she put in last the last kit that I got. And I actually really liked it because it works really well on your daily pages. If you just want to add some washi, some extra stickers, and these down on the daily pages, you can do like a whole nother spread. So these are all stickers. I'm just going to lay them down here so you can see them, but how cute. I love these. That's adorable. Is he sleeping? Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Little bird, and then this one. So these are all stickers and they're like standard vertical size box size stickers. So you could also use them in there if you wanted to, or if you take journal, your journal and you turn it into like weekly, you know, weekly spreads in your journals, these would work perfectly if you just want to put a random one here and there. They're really cute. It's a fun idea, something different. Then this little bag has like your extra stickers in it. So this one, it's gonna be easier to see it like this. So these are the clear stickers and it's like all the, positive affirmations. I choose to be happy. Good things are coming, that kind of stuff. And then this one is a deco sheet. Oh my gosh, I love that. Reminds me of Calcifer. If you know who Calcifer is, let me know in the comments down below. Cute. And then the kit. So the kit, another one of those subscriptions because it doesn't come every single month. She gives you enough to get you by for a while. So uh, let's go like this. It's not in any particular order, but you can kind of get an idea. Some extra boxes here. I love how what she did with it this month. I like that she went back to doing the foil like on each box instead of like the whole overlay foil. This is fabulous because there for a little while I was kind of hemming and hawing about keeping my subscription because I really didn't like the way that the foil was covering like that what do you call it, that hollow overlay? I didn't like it. This is beautiful because her artwork is so beautiful. You don't want to cover it up with all that stuff. This is just like, this is so me. I love this. So today, anything is possible. She's got a couple of positive affirmations. So here's all your full boxes and your dividers. And then, did I already skip past it? Or did I stick it in the back? I stuck it in the back. And then your washi weekend banner and your date covers. So this is the stuff that's foiled. And then you get a lot of unfoiled stuff. But the unfoiled, I mix and match them together throughout the um, throughout a couple of different spreads. So here's your movie marquees and your flags, checklist boxes, all your to dos today. Look at how many there are. There's so much here. Then you get a whole another full set of boxes, and these you can write in or put um, quote boxes if you wanted to. There's your half boxes. A more deco. Like she just has a lot of fun box sizes. Oh, good. She added more of these. I always need more because this goes for so long. Like you can go so far with it. And then a whole nother set of washi date covers, another weekend banner, and then tons of matching deco and your icons, your planner icons. So get a ton of, ton of, ton of stuff in here. And don't forget you have this, plus you have all these, plus you have the washi. So you got a lot of stuff to play with um, from Happy Day. So I don't mind that it takes, that you don't get it every single month. She used to do that, but I think she got burnt out on drawing so much. And I can, I can relate to that. I've been drawing like a crazy person lately. 
I'm starting to get burnt out a little bit, but that's okay because I'm done through December. So yeah, <laughs> I've drawn all the way up through December. Hubman and Chub Girl. This is one of the subscriptions I'm probably going to back off on because this is the, the ultimate deluxe subscription. And although I do love it, I have so much Hubman and Chub Girl that I'm probably going to have to take a break for a little while. Um, and then I'll probably pick it back up uh, in the summer. I just want to use what I have. If you could see these, hang on. <laughs> it just, it just don't have, and it's not, it's, I just don't have uh, enough planners or enough days of the week. I wish I, I wish I did to use all of this Hubman and Chub Girl. It's just so much of it. And then I've also got extra orders and now I have the deluxe. It's just, it's a lot. So in the deluxe kit, this is what you get. If you're looking at the all everything included, this is what you get. And this is better to me, I think, than the regular just picking like a vertical or whatever, because you always get the washi, you get the extra, you get a lot of stuff in here, including the journaling kit and the planner kit. You get so much in this and it's not that expensive for as much stuff as you get. So super cute pin. So this is Happy Sheba. It's a little bit of an odd theme for right now. Last month was very fall. So I think this is kind of like a in between before they start the winter stuff. I don't know, but uh, it's interesting for this month. Then I'm going to slide this over. You get a bunch of vinyls, which they are fantastic vinyls. So there's the vinyls. Cute. And I'm going to do the kit itself. I did notice, though, that the printing on these kits is getting better. So I don't know if she changed printers or something or settings or something, but they're uh, more saturated than they used to be. They used to be really muted, and I, especially when you compare it to this. And it was really starting to like make me not want to use them only because you know me i love color like i am like kind of obsessed with bright you know saturated colors so full boxes it was kind of stressing me out a little bit <laughs> but it seems like it's getting better it's definitely getting better these are much better colors i love the bill dues thankful for don't forget so this is just the regular standard vertical. They don't have an option for the cousin. If they did, I would probably get the cousin one only because I tend to use this more in there, but you get enough date covers to last you an entire month because there's a lot in here. So there's that. You also get this, which we'll go through that in a second, but then this little bag has like other extras and I like the little bag. I might use that. I'm going to keep that. Okay. So you've got these little origami circles. They are foiled. Then she always gives like, I think this is like the, I'm going to try it out and see what you guys think. So there's these. And this is like that vellum paper, which Coffee Monsters Co. has been using that a lot lately in her subscription boxes. And you got some origami planes. Oh, I love these. I love these stickers. She did this last, um, last month as well. Uh, they were a little bit bigger, like probably about the size of two of these. Wait. So sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, these are cute, but these are stamps. If you can't, probably can't tell in this there. Hopefully you can see that these are stamps. And then let me make sure that you're actually focused on it because there's also foil. Look at how cute. And those are cute. Good job. They're good. Okay. Then this is what I meant by that hollow overlay, which is fine on stickers like this, but when you put it over an entire kit, it just, it just really Kind of ruins the kit for me but it's okay over stickers like this so you got some cute little stickers then you got the again with the overlay with the individual stickers and then the card so that was in that little bag okay and then this one is the october let's pull this out so there's lots of stuff in here oh, how cute <laughs> And it comes with this, which fits into those um, folders that I just showed you. And let me move that over. There's a couple of little origami birds in here. Those are vinyl. Let me stick them with the vinyl stickers. And then, what's this? I think this is origami paper. How cute. <laughs> so, yep, it is. Just gives you little origami papers. These will be really cute for you to um, just kind of do like pockets, maybe, in a journal adorable which that's what this is this is the monthly journaling kit 
So there's some origami paper. Then you've got your bigger box, your bigger deco. This is the card that goes with the journaling kit and it has like, it's called I Love Paper is the name of this kit. And then all of your quarter sheets with the smaller deco. Cute. And then I love her monthlies. Those are so cute. And then you've got your date dots, your days of the week, your icons and more days of the week and numbers. So there's all that. And then you've got two things of washi, which will open up. This might take me a second because they do a really good job at packaging their washi. It's like packaged on both ends, which is not how most people do it. <laughs> so it takes me like twice as long to get through it. Or you could be like really lazy like me and just not even uh, put these little circles on it. Just give it to you in the plastic. So much more work. Stop it. That's my trash thing. Puppy. Puppy's trying to help me with the trash. All right. So this one is foiled and it's got those little origami planes. Oh, oops. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm having like a heck of a day today. We just got back from the vet. We took the puppy and the big dog to the vet to get their checkups. Apparently, now the puppy needs to go see a cardiologist. So, fun times ahead. Oh, my sticker, <laughs> my sticker hauls might get a little small for a while. I'm not sure how much it costs to go to a cardiologist for pets, but I'm imagining that it's not cheap and obviously don't have insurance for them. So, um, yeah, it's probably not going to be buying a lot of stickers next month, but we'll see. I also have the option to work overtime, so I'm probably going to do that because I can't give up my stickers. So. This month is going to be a much bigger haul probably than normal because there's a lot of stuff that's like quarterly coming in this month. So be a lot more to see this month than maybe next month anyway. So there. I don't want to give up on any of the box the script, subscription boxes that I have right now because all of the fall and winter stuff is coming out and it's like my favorite. So I'll just work over time. Okay, so here's the washi. Let me zoom you into the washi. It's super cute. Love those paper stars. I mean, the origamis. There's birds and planes in there, and they are foiled. But that's cute. Okay, there's that. All right, so that's everything in the Hubman and Chub Girl subscription. Put that off to the side. You should see after I'm done with these hauls how much it takes me forever to pack it all up and put it away. But it's actually the like the funnest part because that's when I start figuring out which ones I want to use this month and then start changing out the ones that I already picked. Uh, you are supposed to be over here. Gosh, what a mess. Okay, next we're going to do every minute a story. So they did uh, their Halloween release and I didn't I never get there fast enough to do the buy all bundle, but if I get the if I do manage to get there early enough, I always pick up the buy all bundle. Um, it's a pretty good deal. It's much cheaper than buying them separately, uh, but you got to have some fast fingers if you want to to get them. So this is the new washi. So she was showing it off on her Facebook group. If you want to see like sneak peeks of stuff, Facebook groups are the best place to go. But this has a new purple, like a purple hollow foil. And I'm just going to have to keep refocusing you so that you can see it. But how cute is that? That's different. I don't think I have anything with purple hollow foil on it. So it is adorable. Okay. And I love the theme. Okay. And then what else did we pick up? So I have the card. Oh, it's cute. It is so cute. There's the, the uh, dashboard. And then here's the freebie. Which is stupid cute. And then I picked up, oh, let's save that one for last. I picked up two kits. So this one is her Snoopy kit. <laughs> the Great Pumpkin. It's just a little two-page kit. I thought I picked up the three-page kit. I thought I changed that in my, I'll have to check the order. 
Um, don't think there's one in here with the actual. I'll go on the website and see, but I could just want I changed it because you have the option to get a four page kit or a two page kit. Like this one is, I got the four page kit and this is her, you know, Jack Skellington kind of thing. Well, he is, but I'm, I'm not sure like what all of the references are, but obviously what that one is. And then this page, and then this page, and I could have sworn that this is what I picked for Snoopy. So I'll have to go back and double check the website and see. And then these smaller ones I picked up. So we've got this one here. And then this one, which goes with that skeleton. And then this one, which goes with the great pumpkin. And then this one. And then Snoopy. And then washi strips. So that is what I picked up from Every Minute of Story. Did not get a ton of stuff because, like I said, the bundle was sold out, which had a lot of what I wanted in it. And I still have a lot of stuff from them from last year for Halloween, so I'm set for this this year. Then, what you've probably all been hanging out here waiting for, <laughs> my Coffee Monsters Co. order. Okay, so I picked up, during the birthday sale, I picked up a few things. So I will just go through and open them and just show them off. So this is a little sticker storage or photo album, whichever you would prefer. But it's adorable. And it's got all of the pages. These are side loading these are side loading pages and I don't know how many are here I'm not gonna sit here and count it but there's there's quite a bit in there this would be a good one to throw in your bag because this is like um you can get this wet and it's not gonna ruin it at all it's it's very very sturdy so there's that one and then this one which I was really excited about because I just thought this artwork on the front was so stinking cute and this is a reusable sticker album. So you got your cover, and then on the inside is all the reusable sticker stuff. And this right here will fit perfectly into the cover of my Aura cell. So this one can definitely just be tucked in, and you can take it with you, and you can put all of your stickers, up, like the ones that you want to use for planning on the go. You guys already know I do a lot of planning on the go. So, um, yeah, these are good to stick in my backpack. So I got that. Probably should have ordered more. I only got one of each and then oh my goodness so birthday sale so oh that bag Ooh, wait I gotta show you the bag look at how stinking cute this bag is oh my gosh I hope you can see it but it's adorable all these little oh, I love this I love it I'm gonna figure out something to do with that I don't know what but something let me flip over some things so these are their little um cards with the artwork on it. Oh, how cute is that one? And then <laughs> the vinyls. That's adorable. And the freebie. So excited. Best day. Positive thoughts. I had a good day. And then this one. Oh, I love that one. I love that the little bunny in the pocket. That's adorable. And then I love bread. And then I can buy myself flowers. What is that? Four washies. Sorry, I gotta flip it so it was kind of. Oh, that's cute! Little coloring card. That is adorable. Wish I still had my Copic markers because I would color that with that, but I don't. So I don't think I would color it with a regular one. Work in progress. That's adorable too. And it's got your little place on the back for you to use. Put your beans. If you remember to do your beans, I always forget to do the beans. I'm terrible with the beans. So let's do the kits first. So I picked up Be Bold full boxes. So this is the Be Bold kit, which came out for the birthday, I believe. And it's got all the art. This, I guess her birthday was very art inspired. And page four. And then I got the Hobonichi version of it. Because, you know, I need it. I need the things page three and then I got the sweet monsters so I have a couple of kits of hers uh, for Halloween that I'm going to be using this year and these are the ones that I didn't have so I picked these up so this is sweet monsters for the Hobonichi cousin and then cozy Halloween I didn't have it for the cousin but I have this in the standard vertical so there are four pages uh, three pages of that and then I got the movies and I intend to watch all of these 
absolutely watch all of these and I'm going to mark them as I watch them for the month of October. So anyway, there's the big pages and then I got a little stack of the smaller pages. So these guys right here, I have no idea. Uh, Homenichi Weeks. So she's doing the weeks in something different. So these are little weeks pages. So I did get the weeks. All right. <laughs> Be Bold Hobonichi Weeks. I don't remember what I ordered. This was a bit ago. Be Bold Sticky Notes for the weeks. This is the Mini Mon Sweet Monsters mini kit. And then I got the um, Cozy Halloween in the mini kit. These are cute. And then the Cozy Halloween Sticky Notes. I forgot I got those. Those are so cute and tiny. You can actually stick these inside of a pocket inside your Hobonichi cover and take it with you. And then I got the deco for the Be Bold, Be Bold Doodles. Get your ducks in a row because I don't have my ducks in a row. The um, little fall working emotes. The fall computer screens or TV, whichever one you want to use that for. More of the working emotes for autumn. Fly away from my problems. That's my favorite thing. And then there's the Master Artist Doodles Da Vinci. This is stinking. These are adorable. Adorable. We got Da Vinci. I can't focus. I don't know. I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to murder it. I'm not going to do it. Monet and Van Gogh. Love that. Love, 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 love. Okay. And then the washies, which will roll out the washies because these are all the ones that go with those. These are all the art washies. I think that's. This one, yeah, I did. That's all I got was the art washies. Um, kind of roll them out for you. And then that will be the end of this first part of the haul, which is actually pretty long, but everything kind of came at once. I got like nothing, 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 and, then, and we had the holidays, so nothing came during the holiday. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think the mailman is like taking a break or something because I hadn't been getting anything like anything like my mailbox was empty which is very unusual not to even get junk mail so i thought maybe something happened to my mailman and then all of a sudden like everything started showing up at once so this is going to be first section is going to be pretty long oh that one i love that love 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 my daughter's going to come steal her sections she comes over with her little like bookmarks the acetate bookmarks and she takes she wraps up a few a few of these around each one of her little bookmarks and sticks them inside of her planner so she can probably do that tomorrow because they'll be here tomorrow i love that that is so cute oh my gosh and then this one's gonna be my favorite because starry night's my favorite painting Okay, 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 got it. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait till you see. Oh no, even this one on the top is foiled, but it's a very subtle foil. So let me bring it up nice and close. There you go. So this one's a real subtle, like copper foil. And then you got silver, silver, and gold. But how stinking cute is that? I love this. Okay, so that's everything that I got from Coffee Monsters Co. And I'll be back in a minute with more. Yep, so just stay tuned. Okay, next up, I have three, four orders. Four orders here. I've got some little things. Sweet Kawaii Design. I've got Coco Daisy and I've got Tiny Little Tulip. So I'll start with um, some little things. Let's do this one first. And look how stinking cute the packaging is. I just, I couldn't help but take it out of the package, but I wanted to show it to you because it's absolutely adorable. I tried to figure out maybe if you cut it down and then you could um, double sticky tape it into your planner. You could use it as a pocket to keep your actual stickers in. I think I'm going to try that because this is just adorable. Anyway, I'm going to put that one off to the side. And then she sent me some little freebies here uh, and a code so that I can pass it on to you guys because she's absolutely fantastic and adorable and I love all of her things so if any of this is like makes you want to go out and order stuff which you know it always does me I have a code for you so check down below uh this video and you'll see what the code is um, I think it's SLT10 but uh well I'll have it down there but look at how stinking cute this is so this is I believe now um 
it doesn't say on it what it is, but I can, I think I can figure it out. So all I have is a coffee cup to show you because I don't have a water bottle down here, but I believe if you had a water bottle, you can put this little guy on here and says this coffee cup is kind of the same size as, you know, like the same shape as a water bottle, bigger at the top than the bottom. I think that's how it goes. And then you just look at how cute, how sticky cute is that? And then you can just carry your water bottle. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's adorable. And it fits nice and snug on this little guy. Isn't this cute? I got that ages ago. I got that ages ago. Anyway. Okay, so freebies. I'm going to show you what she sent me. So this is um, No No as a Plant. <laughs> and he's a little, look at how cute he is. He's just this cutest little notepad, little sticky notes. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. Love the little sprout on top of his head. Reminds me of Leafy. How stinking cute. No No Plant. So there's that. And then... Um, there's some like little, little prickly, but cute. So well, like succulents kit. It's like a little mini kit. Keep going, keep growing. These are adorable. It's got the gold foil. I love this. And then the dividers and your weekend banner. And then Jays of the week and my favorite little date dots ever because they're foiled. And then there is little drop of pastel. Look at, no, no, it's a little there's a little pastel. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with Nono. Good vibes only. And then the same, you got, oh, this, I love this color palette so much. Weekend banner and your side. I mean, you're, I can't talk right now. I don't know what is going on. I just had big dinner. I think my brain, I'm like brain fogged in. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> your date covers and your date dots. And look at these ones, they're hearts. I love this. And a uh, little sleeve. And I showed you where these little sleeves fit into. If you don't have a binder for them, they fit into any of the binders that are I'll show you again just to be sure you know um, these binders right here so this type of a binder so this one is a Hubman and Chub girl but it's got like the six rings these fit in here so and I am not 100% sure what size that is exactly but anyway you get it they come in these little pouches and these are fantastic so this is a great place for you to store all of your stickers so let me set that one off to the side and then we'll get into my order so this month again knocked it out of the park look at this it's a little washi stand to go with my washi collection which i absolutely love this little notepad comes again inside of this little sticker thing which is fantastic um hubman and chub girl do the same thing and these are so handy for keeping your stickers and you can keep your collection all together. They're just absolutely fantastic. And look at this. Oh, look at it. Oh my gosh. Let me smell it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What's this one? Jasmine floral, an elegant light fragrance of scent of jasmine petals. Perfect for small spaces such as cars, rooms, bathrooms, and dorms. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to hang it up in here, even though it's not going to go with what I have burning right now. I don't even care. Oh, it's nice. It's very jasmine. Very, very jasmine. Look how cute. I love that. I'm going to go hang it in the closet right here. Wait, I'll do it after. Sorry. I was getting distracted. I was going to go hang it up and then just leave you stand in here. Um, and then there's a notepad. Okay, notepad. How cute is this? Yep, there you go. This is cute. All right, and then let me show you how to put this together. Let's see. I need the little pokey. I need the pokey thing. Okay, use the pokey thing. So you have to take off the plastic cover that is keeping your little acrylic guy underneath safe, which if I could grab a corner of it, we'd be good. There we go. And then it brightens right up. See how the dull is totally gone and it's on both sides. So you just grab off both sides and then it's crystal clear. Absolutely perfect. See that? Do the same thing with the bottom. This one's super simple. There isn't a whole lot to figure out as far as putting it together. Okay. And then you just find the front, find the front, slide it in. And it should just pop right in. Sometimes it might take a little finessing, but don't be too crazy because it's acrylic and you can crack it. So just gotta gotta gently shove it in there. But there's that guy. And then these will fit right on top once you open them. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love it when they send when she sends us the washi stands, it just makes my whole my whole heart happy. 
But even if she didn't send them, I buy them anyways. <laughs> so I was just like scoping out the website because I've got a bunch of points I got to use. Um, and there's a couple washi stands on there that I want, don't need, want. I have like a ton of washi stands and every single one of them has some little things washi on it. So, all right, let me open these up real quick first before I actually, I feel like I'm in a food coma. If I don't sound excited, just understand that I am very excited. I just don't, I just feel like I'm in a food coma right now. So we went to um, Cracker Barrel for dinner, which is not the place you normally go, at least not me for dinner. Cause it's not, it's not really my kind of food, but I went for the, the little shop <laughs> that Cracker Barrel has. Um, cause I was looking for some cute little like Halloween and fall outfits for the baby. And, um, but so we ended up eating there. And now I feel like I'm in a, like a food coma because if you've ever eaten at Cracker Barrel or if you just have a thought about what the food must be like there, it's very like fattening. Lots of gravies, lots of like comfort type food. So it's, oh my gosh, it's so, oh, sorry, I just got distracted, but how stinking cute. Hang on. Ugh, come on. You can do it. Look at Nono under there. Look how cute he is under the little toadstool. I love this. And I like that it's this way because you don't get very many washies that you can run um, this way along like the edge of your page. So I like every once in a while getting a washi like this is fantastic. This makes me, me very happy. Then you've got the, oh, he's cute too. Hang on. So this one's got the gold foil. They, well, actually, all of them have gold foil. Okay. There's this one. If you can't tell, this is all about the mushrooms, and it's adorable because I love mushrooms, and this is a perfect time of year to do this. I don't know why, but for some reason, mushrooms go really well with, like, fall, <laughs> which is kind of silly because I don't see a lot of mushrooms where I live in the fall. I see them in the spring. There's a ton of mushrooms that pop up in the spring, but look at how cute. That is so cute. I love this kit. All right, so there's the washi. Put it on the washi stand. There, perfect. That's where it's going to stay on that washi stand and then we'll open up the kit. So I get the Hobonichi Cousin and this is like the deluxe kit. So it's it's pretty much everything you can get besides like adding on things like the pin subscription and stuff like that. So you get a couple of, oh my goodness, how cute. Proud hoarder, yep, that's me. <laughs> Just here for the vibes. This is so cute. Look at, she's got a little boba drink. Oh my gosh, it's adorable, adorable. Okay, there's those. I know where those are going. I just got a new printer. And then here's your dashboard. <laughs> no, no. This reminds me. Never mind. Reminds me of the, that TV show. She's, he's got like the spores, <laughs> the mushroom spores growing out of him. Okay. Then, like I said, this is the cousin. Ooh. Yep, my brain's not working. It's got the gold foil. It's adorable. Do what makes you happy. It's got all the little characters in the mushroom forest. All you got todays and to dos, and um, some checks, but your checklists. But you can also use these as dividers. And then you've got your flags, then washi, date dividers. I mean, date covers. Yeah, I should probably just stop this video and start over when I'm not like stumbling over my words. This one, I'll just say this one. Oh, I like the desk. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. And then an extra box and then your sidebar stuff. So not all of the pages are foiled, which is good because um, I don't typically write on the foiled stickers. I finally found a pen that works, but I don't typically write on the foiled stickers. So it's nice to have non-foiled stickers in there so that you can just use a regular pen and you don't have to like have something special. Anyway, that is everything from some of the things. Don't forget that uh, there's going to be a code at the bottom for this. And so if you want to make an order, you can go ahead and use that code. And that way she knows that you came here just because of me and my enabling videos. Okay, next. Sweet Kawaii Design. No, Tiny Little Tulip. I want to do Tiny Little Tulip. Oh, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And it's elegant. It's very elegant. So usually you know me with like foil. I'm kind of going with like whimsical-y stuff that kind of goes along with my stickers. But how gorgeous is this? Oh, so beautiful. And it's a it's an orange. So it's, I can't, maybe it's gold. No, it's gold. I thought it was the orange one, but it's gold. She has an orange foil, but I was like hemming and hawing over which one. It might be orange. <gasps> it is orange. Yeah, there it is. Now I can see it. 
It's so it's elegant. It's just elegant. I can't wait to use it. I know exactly what kit I'm going to use it on too. Beautiful. Look at this. She does such an amazing job. Love the underlays. Oh, yes. And then your washi. Oh, yes. I love this so much. These are little deco pieces. Ring reinforcers. And then, oh, there's a lot more of this. She made some changes and I like it. I like it a lot. So this is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So um, just a little disclaimer. I'm showing you this just because I think she has absolutely stunning foil. I think all of her foil is absolutely gorgeous. It is, you will not ever go wrong. It is flawless. It is fantastic. I don't know if this kit is up there yet. I just, I know it's probably coming, but she made this one special for me. So if, um, I'm sure she's going to have it up for you because why wouldn't you? I mean, it's absolutely fantastic, but I just wanted to show it to you because she does have other fall kits up. So if it's not up yet, just keep an eye out for it. But if it is fantastic, pick it up. It's absolutely fantastic. So that is a foil kit from Tyler Tulip. She's beautiful and I can't wait to use it. I know exactly where that's going. Now we'll move into the ones that are a little bit thicker. So Sweet Kawaii Design. I made like just a regular order during $2 Tuesday. It is now Friday and it's already here. So can I just tell you that this is amazing. Their shipping is absolutely fantastic. Customer service is wonderful. I can't say enough good things about Sweet Quiet Design. And so let's just get into it. I'll start with the freebies. So this time I put Natalie in, even though Rachel's my favorite. I put Natalie in because I wanted to try I want to get other people's stickers too. I want to like eventually get everybody, all the PR girl stickers so that I can have them all. But how cute. Death before decaf. <laughs> Give me some space over the sheet. I mean, this is just absolutely adorable. So this is Natalie's freebie. If you're looking at all of the freebies, this is the every order freebie kind of thank you thing. And then you've got some extra little deco in here. And then she talks about what pens work the best on her stickers. Then how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I know where that's going. So the little dashboard and then another little freebie, which, wait, is this the freebie or did I buy this? I don't know. I don't have my thing. I think I bought Frank. Yes, I bought this one. Okay, yeah, I did. I remember because there was a choice between a bunch of different ones and I wanted to get Frank because right now Frank is my absolute favorite, but uh, Poe, is that right? I don't know. I might be wrong. Don't crucify me. I'm learning. I'm getting, I'm getting good at this, but I need to like put a little thing here with all their names on it. I wish she would, like, you remember sweet, um, some little things gives you that little folder and it has every single character in it so that you can get to know their names. I wish she had something like that, like that came with the orders just so that like, especially since she has that new barista one and stuff, just to kind of get used to all the names of the characters, but Frank's my favorite. So this is Frank. He loves to read. He's festive and fun. Doesn't stay out late. He's a foodie, strong and fit. That's not me, but <laughs> very handy. That is me. Very stylish. Not so much. Knows how to party perfect gentleman and will drive you everywhere. I mean, how stinking cute is Frank? So this is like Frank's little date sheet. So there's that. And then I ordered some stuff from $2 Tuesday. But to be honest, I just ordered stuff because I really wanted these. So let's go through these first. I wanted to get September, October, and November of the monthlies for the standard vertical because I have a monthly planner that that's all it has is monthlies in it. Monthlies and blank sheets in between. It doesn't have any like vertical layout. And I really, really love, love, love her monthly kits. So this is November. I know I'm a little out of order. And then I'm going to back plan into September because I just, I just want to. So we got all your date covers and your top washies and some little extras your sidebar <laughs> oh cute and then uh, numbers in acorns and some extra little boxes and then this is my favorite i love putting these on so this is you know 30 days of like little sandwich day candy day daylight savings day like she has all these are absolutely fantastic and then some extra boxes so this is a little three page kit which is more than enough for what you need for a monthly overlay. So I'm going backwards. So that's November, I'll show you October. Okay, October is, oh my gosh, so fun. Look at October. Oh my gosh, I love that. So same thing, I'm not gonna tell you what everything is. You can figure it out, but how <laughs> cute, oh, that's adorable. And I love the candy corn date dots. And then this is your third page, so. There is October and then September. September, I feel like September is my favorite, but November is a quick, quick, you know, like a, a close second. So um, December's not out yet or else I would have picked it up already. If she had like a 12 month option where you could just get them all, I would have just gotten them all. 
And because they're not specific, you could save these. Like if you pick them up now and you want to use them next year, you just put them away in your little stash. <laughs> just put them away in your little stash and you use them next year. Thankfully, they're not like specific to any. This might change, but it says the 30th isn't attached to it. So if it's like that's the killer for you, it's not attached. So if ice cream day falls on the 23rd next month, I mean next year, you could just put it on the right day. So it doesn't even have to be, you know, actual, the actual one. Okay, there's that. And then I picked up, what did I pick up? I went a little, I didn't go too crazy. Look, I did pretty good. I didn't go too crazy. Let's start with this one. Winter critters. That's right. I wanted to get some winter kits because, let me tell you why. October's coming and every, every October we have been getting snow. So I wanted to have at least one kit in case it snows for uh, October. So make it, put it in an order. So this is your full boxes, to-dos, $2 Tuesday, Freebie Friday. This is your next one. I love this. Oh, those snowflakes are adorable. Mm -hmm. And this one, and then this one. So this is, I believe, did I get all standard vertical? I think I got all standard vertical. I feel like. I don't feel like I got Hobonichi Cousin because I get the Hobonichi Cousin um, subscription. So I get enough Cousin kits, and I don't have any standard vertical kits. So I'm pretty sure I picked standard vertical. It doesn't say on there, but I'm almost positive that those are all standard vertical they look like that size box but i don't have like a little ruler right here and then of course i had to get the little ghost one that uh i think i saw this one on rachel's rachel's instagram dead inside let's go ghouls this is like perfect and then boo <gasps> look how cute i love this <laughs> this one and then look at that washi is that fantastic I love this. Okay, so there is, this one is called Ghosts. What's that one? And then I got, what's this one called? Uh, Fall Reads, the reading one. I love the check boxes. Adorable. He's in there. <laughs> Frank. Okay, so here's all the Fall Reads. Full boxes. My weekend is all booked. I like that little... That's cute. I like that. I just made a whole giant bookcase for my um, Cozy Books kit that's coming out. And by a full bookcase, I mean like two boxes, like two boxes big of nothing but books and the characters. And it took me forever. And I'm totally like, that is adorable. And I didn't think about putting, oh my gosh, I see other stuff. And I'm like, why didn't I think about putting that on my bookcase? But I didn't. Anyway, I love the books. Perfect. And then your washi and your date covers and your date dots. And I love the fact that she does date dots. Love it. Most places don't. <laughs> and then I have to dig in my stash and find them. But she does. And it's fantastic. Okay. And then this one is apple spice. Because my favorite drink in the fall. I know everybody else is like a pumpkin pumpkin girl but starbucks drink it's that um hot apple cider and if i can find a variation of it at any other coffee shop i always get it and i'm like so excited when they finally come out with it it's like the one thing i'm waiting for all year long is that hot apple hot apple cider it's my favorite oh yes 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 i love this i think i'm going to use this one like soon like very soon um, yeah. Anyway, that's everything from me. I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry, guys. I told you I'm still in a food coma. I don't know. My brain is like shot, but Sweet Quiet Design, fantastic. Absolutely love it. Either not, this is now Natalie's. I have Rachel's next order. I will pick another PR girl. So I will get them all and then you will see them all. But yeah, you definitely uh, won't go wrong picking stuff up there at all. Okay. So next I'm going to do Coco Daisy. And because Coco Daisy takes up a lot of space, a lot, a lot of space. I'm going to move some things out of the way real quick so that I can actually spread out. So um, I'm going to be doing, so by the time you see this, the setup for the October setup will already be done and it should be on the website. So if you haven't seen it yet and you're just coming on here because you saw a haul video and you wanted to check out what somebody else has and you want to see this kit 
being used as a full month setup in my traveler's notebook, then head back to my, you know, the video section and look for that because this is going to be, I'm going to do a whole setup video using this month because y'all know fall is my favorite, absolutely my favorite. And look at the colors. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm very excited to use this this month. Very, very, very excited. So Autumn Whispers is what it's called. And this is, again, this is Coco Daisy. I'm going to pull everything out, get rid of the box, and then show you what's inside. Okay, let's... Oh! Fall vibes only. That's cute. Very cute. It's a little vinyl sticker. It was just in there, so I don't know if it was supposed to be in one of these other ones, and it somehow didn't make it in or what. So I get regular planner kit, I get the planner add-on kit, I get the journaling kit, and I get the planner classified edition. So we're going to start at the beginning, which is the planner, just the basic planner kit. So this is all the goodies that you get inside of this little Velcro case. And these are all the goodies that you get if you just order the regular planner, just the regular planner stuff. So this month we get a mild liner. I just ordered a bunch in this color because this is one of the new ones. So this one is orange. Mel? I don't know. I can't read. Oh, honey orange. Oh my God. It's <laughs> just reading it in another language. Okay. Honey orange. This is one of the new colors and I just ordered a box of these. So these will be up in the shop. They go with uh, one of the journaling bundles. It's part of one of the journaling bundles, but this is honey orange. And then, then the pen which is orange. So I go through phases of pens. So sometimes I love my Villa Beautiful and that's all I'll use. And then sometimes I get into Simply Gilded. That's all I'll use. And right now I'm on a Coco Daisy kit. I don't know why, but the pens are just, for whatever reason, they're writing beautifully. And um, my writing just looks nice with them. So I've been using them. So this is an orange barrel and it has like um, kind of a sparkly sheen to it. Might be kind of hard to see on the video, but then it's got these like yellow gems in the middle. You got your daisy on top and this is a black gel ink. That off to the side. So anyway, a couple little clips, which these are fantastic for holding your book open on the page that you're actually working on. And they're gold, so they're decorative and they look cute. And we've got a little notepad. Wow, my room smells amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. Like there's a combination of two scents going. Over here, I've got this burning right here. It's called Harvest Blessings. It's over here. And then I just got a new candle from Southern uh, Southern Firefly Candle Company. If you haven't seen that, I got it at the um, where we went out to eat today, Cracker Barrel. And they were on clearance for eight bucks and it's a pine, like a pine scent. So I, I know it sounds weird, but for some reason the pine and the pumpkin are just meshing beautifully. It's my room just smells amazing. Oh, I love this time of year. Love, love, love. Can never wait for it to get here. Okay, let me get on my paper because I can see at least four washies here, maybe five, because usually the classified has a washi in it as well. So let me pop these and start putting them down so you can see what comes in each kit. So this is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are beautiful. Very busy. It's a very busy one, but that's just absolutely stunning. And by busy, busy, I don't mean bad. I mean, it's just a busy washi. So it's a good like focal point for a page. And then, like I said, you got your notepad and then I'll save those for a second. In this little box, you have your box. Yep, still fog green. Your extra gel, your extra gel inserts. What a disaster! I'm glad I don't get paid by these guys because <laughs> they would be like, they would fire me. And, and the sun took a step back. Leaves lulled themselves into sleep, and autumn was awakened. I love that. That's beautiful. So you got a little card, but on the other side, you can test your pens and your stamps if you're a stamper. So there's that. And then you've got your big notepad, which is has this like little check pattern on it. And oh, look, a little squirrel. He's cute. Squirrel with the pumpkin. Okay, and then this is your... Yep, here it is. <laughs> this is your little... Let me just make sure that there's actually a cover. Yeah, the covering is on the back, not the front. I can see by looking at the front that if you scratch the front, you're going to scratch off the ink that's on there. There's no covering over the front. It's over the back. So take off the covering on the back. And then this one says, there's a subtle magic in the falling of old leaves. And then you're supposed to kind of attach this to it and stick it in your planner. 
or you can use them separately. You can use this as a wash you thing. You can put this someplace else, you know, but their, her intention was for you to put them together like that. So there's that. And there's an extra little, so these are vellum stickers, an extra little one of pumpkins and leaves. So she tucked an extra one in this month. And let's do the papers because they are just calling my name. Look at these colors. Oh my God. You know, my favorite color is orange. Um, and oh yeah, this one's gonna be hard for me to figure out which one I want. When we do the setup video, I might do a poll before to see which which side of this one to use because I love them both. Like, yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, like a quilt pattern on this side, and then this really bright green. Would not have to ask me what color, to, which one to use on that one. And then this is stunning. Look at that, <gasps> stunning. Let's see the other side. Oh, nice easy yellow check. That's gorgeous. Okay, so there's the papers. And yeah, I do use them in the setup video. You'll see what I do with them in the TN with uh, using the papers. Then we got the stickers. So the regular planner kit that you get every month, it just has the basics. It has what's going to get you started. And then if you want more, that's where you start adding on all this other stuff. So you get your date cover, your numbers, you get an alpha, you get some half boxes and quarter boxes. More, I don't know why, but you get more numbers, but in flags, <laughs> you get some smaller date covers here and then your icons. And then this is another, you'll see these in here, but there's another one. So if you need an extra one and then you've got your October, some ring reinforcers, and then you've got a little sheet of deco. I like that owl. It's cute. I don't know which way to go. Here we go. That's cute. So you just don't get very many stickers in this one. And that's why this month it's different because you have an extra sheet of stickers in this one, which you don't normally get. And then we've got these guys right here. Pull these out. We'll go through this. I don't need that anymore. Okay. So this is what I mean by you get more of these. So you get things like six of these in here. So there's a couple of those. Oh, that's cute. So these are like almost like a watercolor. So it's just absolutely stunning. And But a watercolor with really bright um, colors, which hopefully the camera is picking up the bright, but I have all the studio lights on in here, so it might be a little washed out, but just know that these are very saturated, very beautiful. So there's all, and these are cut a little bit thicker than what you get on the paper stickers, but still, you know, it has the the back that you pull off. It's still a sticker, but it's not like as thick as a vinyl. It's kind of in between. So there's everything that comes in the main planner kit. And now we'll work on the planner add-on kit. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Because the journaling kit sometimes confuses me what's what. Okay. So in the add-on kit, there's two more rolls of washi. There's some more of those stickers. There's this really pretty little clip. Oh, we got a pen case and then stickers. So let me just start with a pen case. That way I can put it off to the side. It's pretty, very, very pretty. Okay, yep, it's here somewhere. So here is the pen case. It's soft, kind of like a velvety, not velvety, but it's, it's really soft on the inside and it's got a snap closure. And then you've got the beautiful pattern on it. And then your, your little pens and stuff can fit inside. So you can take it with you. There's that. Then let's do the washi. I think I know why I have brain fog. I'm starting to get a headache. That's why I have brain fog. Must have been all that dang food I just ate. Okay. This is just a lighter kind of version of what we already have. Instead of the yellow background, it has a white background. I mean, I don't think it's exactly the same. I don't see any pumpkins in there, but it's still that like beautiful fall leaves. And it has the white background instead of the yellow. I really hope that this is focused. Let me see. There, how's that? <laughs> That's probably better. Probably like half of this video was out of focus. <sighs> I wish this thing would autofocus, but when I do that, then it like zooms in and out and it's just, it's a huge pain in the neck. So I have to remember to focus you in when I bring things close to the camera. Then there's a skinny washi, which I love these for being able to split your pages, which I use them often. You'll see in the setup video where I put these. 
And I like I have a nice orange now. So there's that one. I'll put it down here because you don't need to see that one super close up. Then we have a clip. It's got a bunch of little acorns on it. Gold with all the fall colors and then the little acorns. This one I will zoom you in on there. It's very pretty. And that's going in there in my TN. Okay, uh, let's, do, let's do this. There's a little vellum sheet of numbers which we don't usually get this either but this is cool i like having these numbers i like there's like a little checky pattern on the back and it's very orange which I'm, i love yep it's perfect and there's rub-ons some days of the week i love that owl as a rub-on lots of little leaves and pumpkins and yes i did get into the rub-ons she wore me down she wore me down with all the rub-ons that she sends and i'm finally like now i'm obsessed with them because they come a lot of them are in that journaling kit and they really do, they really are beautiful. They're super easy to use and they're thin. So you don't have as much bulk when you're like super decorating a page, which I do all the time. So in this little sticker sticker set, you get the smaller dividers or tabs if you want. So you get all six of them there. So you get the tiny ones, which are, these are the ones that I use in the TN because this is a more, a better size for a smaller planner and then here's leaves 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 there's a little owl foliage and more foliage oh this is pretty i like that those are different colors acorns pumpkin another pumpkin and then your weekend banner i don't think i've ever used a weekend banner <laughs> ever from coco daisy i have used weekend banners from other places but not from coco daisy okay then you have your colorway and your smaller journaling cards. Autumn is my favorite color, absolutely. Then your little extras, appointments, water the plants, payday, to-do lists, that kind of stuff. Oh, Halloween's on there, cute. And then some extra stickers, so you've got more deco. Another smaller numbers and alpha, days of the week. These are your little arrow page and then the bigger journaling card i like that pumpkins okay so there's that so that's the add-on kit the planner add-on kit then we have the journaling kit. you know what before i get to the journaling kit i'm gonna do the classified only because usually the classified goes with the planner stuff um the best so i want to do this one that way i can show you what's in here which kind of goes more with that and then if all you want to do is journaling stuff you would just get this one and not the planner one. So I'll do that one separate. Okay, so in this one, here's your little fall, fall vibes only. So this is the button that goes on that magnetic ring. And then we've got another washi, and this one has days of the week on it. And the other washi I can see in the journaling kit, I'm not going to need to roll out because it's an extra. Um, they haven't got... Like the journaling, I think they haven't gotten the washi in for the journaling kits yet. So they just grab a washi from the main planner kits and they add it into the journaling kit. So if you get like a lot of kits, you're going to probably get doubles, which the last, ever since I started getting the journaling kit, which I think this is my third month. Look at all the colors. Oh my gosh. Lots of colors. Okay. So this is just days of the week on a washi. There you go. I won't bring it up too close, but you get the idea. And it goes through all the colors that are in this kit, all the way through like the oranges and the greens and the reds and all that. So super cute. But anyway, I think the plan was going forward with the journaling kits, as far as I can tell, is that they will have designs just for that. So you won't have overlap, but it's probably gonna be like by next year. Like this year, all of the journaling kits, I'm sure, because they already have their stock made for the year, are probably always going to be extras. So a little brown bow. This is cute. Little um, notepad, little sticky notes. The squirrel peeking over the top of the wood. It's cute. Then you've got your Simon card. Sarcasm is just one service that I offer. 
that's kind of me. That's kind of everybody I know, actually. Then you've got some extra stickers here. So more of the deco, more of the days of the week, more of the owls with the deco. This is a washi sheet. So it's that vellum sheet. Then you've got your October tippin, which is gorgeous. And then she's been doing these pockets all the time. And I love them. These are really, really good. I love these pockets. So these are the sticker pockets. Hello fall. Look at how the Gorgeous, those are sorry. <laughs> a little bit of a glare there from all the lights. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Love that. And then you get your vellum, which is a gold, there's like little gold leaves on here. And then your acetate, which probably be easier to do like that. Look at how pretty is that. So there's those. And I pretty much use everything in this kit during my setup video. So if there's anything you're like, I wonder what you do with that. You'll find out if you watch the setup video. Yeah, so this is the lighter of this. So I'm not going to undo it. I'm just going to leave it off to the side. I'll probably re-gift that to someone. And then you get a little card. It says autumn. And then on the back, it's got your October journaling prompts. And then you've got your stickers and two more. Let me see if I can get it so I'm not glaring at you. You can see them all. Two more of the rub-ons. So she's doing a lot more of like the everyday stuff. Like you see the payday, self-care, important stuff like that this week. Don't forget, there's a water tracker here. There's appointment trackers, days of the week. Um, yeah, so there's like a lot of things on in the rub-ons now that didn't used to come on the rub-ons that are more like daily, daily journaling page setup kind of stuff, which is really cute. I like it. And then you get stickers. So let's see what stickers are in here. And all of the stickers in the journaling kits are the, that like vellum, the, the thin, the thinner ones. So you've got this page with this, it's upside down. Okay. So you got this page. It's extra washi. You've got an alpha days of the week and some numbers. This is a full sheet of this. This is two, two of them. These are both full sheets. So you can just slap them down and then throw like layer, layer other stuff on top, or you can cut them down and use them however you want to use them. And then this one is your quotes, a bunch of autumn quotes and some more smaller washi sheets. So that my friends is everything that everything for this part of the haul, which was kind of big because I had a lot of stuff in this one. I have a few more things coming. So this is not the end of the video, hopefully, because um, there are a couple more things coming and then we will be able to wrap up September. September. So anyway, like I said, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out the setup video using all of this, especially if you're kind of curious what to do with what in the world do you do with all of this in a TN? I'll, I will show you what I do with it in my TN. Anyways, thanks guys and stay tuned. I'll be back with some more in just a minute. Okay, I have a stack of goodies here. So I have um, Tiny Hug Club. This is my sugar and sloth. This is what that book like box looks like. Nice and close up for you. And then got my Archer and Olive came in today. So we'll go through that one. And then I got my Scentsy order in. So we're going to go through all of these. And I'm going to start with probably Scentsy since it's the biggest box. And then I can get it out of the way. But I placed like a standalone order, which I do from time to time when I want to just kind of stock up on some of my favorite scents and if they're having clearance sales. So some of their stuff is on clearance right now. Um, I think it may still be on clearance. So if you find something in here that you love, go over and check it out. Because the new, sorry, the new fall stuff is in. Uh, so the old fall stuff is on clearance and that's what these are. So let me just grab some things out of this box. Right, so in here, this is like a cold pack. This is where they keep my, they, they put like a little cold pack in there and then they put your, so I stocked up on Forever Fall, which is very much a, um, let me see. It's a very pumpkin-y, cinnamon, vanilla, pumpkin, very fall. It's a very fall scent and I love this. This is one of my favorite smells for, you know, obviously for autumn. So let me put that over here. It's not even close to this one. So this one was last year's Autumn Blessing. And they're completely different. This has a more fruity uh, fruity scent to it, which goes with, you know, it's like a pumpkin, but it's also got a lot of like fruit flavors to it. And then the um, Forever Fall is straight up go to 
any coffee shop and get pumpkin anything and that's what you're gonna smell um and then i ordered this guy because he was on clearance and he's so stinking cute and he goes perfectly let me pull him out so these guys smell <laughs> oh yeah he smells very pumpkiny so here he is look at his funny little face let me unsquish him so when you squish him his smell comes out but they're safe for me oh oh my gosh he smells so good they're safe for babies and this is the one that I got last year. So I'm making myself a little collection. <laughs> so aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh. So I got the little pumpkin guy and he's going to go on my desk right next to Mr. Bat. So I got that and they come in here in these little containers, which I promptly throw away. But if you into recycle stuff, you probably find something cute to make out of that like a pencil holder or something. Then I got this guy. Oh, he was, I was hemming and hawing about getting him. And I'm really glad that I didn't because... When we went to the fair this year, there's a girl that always has her, all of her Scentsy stuff, and she's got like a huge booth of Scentsy, and she had him, but he was not discounted at all. And I was kind of going back and forth with my daughter about whether or not I should buy it, and she said, well, because um, I like the spell books too. There was a spell books one, and that one, um, I ended up going for that. Look at how cute he is. Sorry, I hit the camera, so I had to <laughs> I had to stop it and restart it because even it was going to make me nauseous just editing the video. Um, anyway, when I went back to check the website, he was on clearance, so I got him for really cheap. So here's the body, and then it's got the light inside, so you just plug it in, light turns on. You put your little wax melts in here, then he goes on top, so this is how he looks, and then he has, he holds in his hand a little calendar. Which, if you get like a magnet, because it's metal, if you get a magnet, you can just move the magnet if you actually wanted to count down to Halloween. Actually, it's right here. There it is. A little bat magnet. So let me put it on there because it's stinking adorable. So you can do a countdown to Halloween. So it's not Halloween yet. Like, it's not even October. So I'll just stick him on the first. But there. Isn't that cute? And then you just move the magnet all the way down to the 31st. And it goes right there in his little hands. And that adorable. Oops, sorry. There you are. And that's so stinking cute. And the scent comes out the top of his head. Adorable. I'm really excited that I didn't. <laughs> I didn't spend as much money as they wanted for it at the fair. Because I got him for really, really cheap. I think he was like 60% off. So he's really good. Oops. Oops. Good thing. All right. Next to sugar and sloth. Let me just zoom you in a tiny little bit so I don't have to keep refocusing the camera. Okay, so sugar and sloth. I got my after dark pin, which if you're new here, I'll explain how to get that as we go through the little set here. So I have no idea what the theme is this month because I very rarely look. <laughs> Gratitude potato. Oh my goodness. Looks like another pencil for Raina. It, it took everything in my power to get her to not eat the crayon. So. We'll probably wait for this. Oh, it's an emotional support crayon. That's what it says on the barrel. And then I remember these when I was a kid. These were so popular. So you just pull out and change colors. And you stick it in the back. And then now you have a blue one. And you just keep going. And it's got all the colors of the rainbow and brown and black. So super cute. <laughs> emotional support crayon. I love that. So I'm guessing that this is uh, very much like emotional kind of stuff. So Gratitude potato, and this is a notepad. Yeah, I'll leave it here so you can read it. There you go. So there is your emotional support potato. Cute. And then our card this month. I don't have this one yet. Papillon the Fennec Fox. Cute. These are like little collectible cards. And then say no to something. <laughs> you don't want to do it. That, oh, you don't want to do. That's cute. And then this is emotional support potato. So this is your, you know, your uh, theme for this month. Then our calendar for this month. You are capable. It's okay to be scared. So there's a little calendar. And then this is a little paper thing. Oh, you can make a pocket. Create your very own origami emotional support potato. For full making instructions, you have to visit the thing. So then you can put all these in the little pocket in the front. But <laughs> I love that paper. I might actually just use the paper on the back for something. I like that. That's adorable. Okay, let's look at the pins, which is why we get this subscription. So the regular pin that you will get is non-snarky, non-sweary. If you want the after dark pin, 
you have to email them and add it to your subscription. So it's not an option on the website for the After Dark pin, which is usually sweary, snarky, something like that. But here is your pin this month. You got this. Emotional. <laughs> I love this. This is really adorable. I'm going to give this to my daughter. I don't usually give my pins away, but I think she would really like that for her backpack. And then the After Dark or snarky one is maybe swearing will help. <laughs> usually helps me how cute all right so there is sugar and sloth set that one off to the side and then we're gonna do oh my gosh look at this i love this so i have to back out a little bit and you're gonna get a little bit of a glare until i get that paper off the plastic off the outside but our turn all is this is the subscription that I signed up for. It is a quarterly subscription. I think it all told with shipping came out to $80. So if you're looking to get a subscription, you can figure you'll pay about 80 bucks every quarter. So let's open this up. I'm sure everybody's probably seen all of the sneaks for this, but the box is adorable. We just figure out how to open it. Yeah, got to be smarter than the box. And that's not me. Okay, scary knife to the rescue. <laughs> so this is what I used to open it. It's pretty hard, but it's a paper. It's a letter opener that I got from one of the like Harry Potter subscription boxes that I used to get. So anyway, here you go. How exciting! So this is Vintage Library, and this says stationary box. Create something. Write in a journal. Protect, prioritize yourself. Breathe deeply. So this is your uh, like your dashboard, and then on the back it talks about what's inside the box. And then I'm just gonna take stuff out. This one's gonna take a little bit because I gotta get through everything. I'm gonna take it all out of the box. We gotta take off all of the wrapping. I'm gonna keep that box because it's a nice and thick box that I can use to ship something to family. Um, so in here, we've got our decorative tapes, which I'm going to do first so I can roll them out. Thankfully, they're not each individually wrapped, so that won't be something that takes time. But let me just move this over to the side. I think these tapes are absolutely fantastic. So you've got your gold stars, so you can rate your books, whether you liked it or not. It's very good. Tape on my finger. So we've got the stars. You just like rip it wherever your rating would be. So we got that one. I'll lift it up for you as soon as I get them all rolled out. And then this one, it looks like book spines. So you could run this either lengthwise or um, along the bottom or this way. You could do vertical or horizontal with that one. Then this is beautiful books with gold foiling is also gorgeous. I'm very excited for this washi. I think <laughs> I'm going to honest, be honest that this might even be like my favorite part of the whole of the whole thing. Let's see. I got to find the end. Come on. I think it has like a little plastic thing over it does. Okay. Um, there. I just murdered that one. And then this is like a little I'm not going to roll it out too far, but you'll get the idea. I don't want to waste it. It's not super thick, but it has like from the library of book review, currently reading, that kind of stuff. And they all look like stamps. So there's the stamps. I'm going to bring it in and focus on it. There it is. And then I'll go back this way so you can see the foiling on those books is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so that is... Let me refocus back to the round here. So that's that. And then we have memo pad. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I saw the unboxing, but it's been a minute. So I don't remember exactly everything that was in here, but I have a pretty good idea. I just don't remember what this was. I'm very excited about these right here. Their packaging is just like too good. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Like even just getting the plastic off of the stupid box is difficult. Ugh, gosh. Or it's just me not knowing how to cut plastic off of something. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the memo pad. So on the outside, it looks like 
um, a library card. And then on the inside, they're blank. So you can put whatever you want on them, but there's different colors. So you have like a purple, a cream, and a pink. So you got three different colors. Oh, this is thick. This is like, like an actual library card thickness. Um, but only the cream. No, I think it's the same all the way through. The, I don't know, for some reason, the cream color feels thicker. But that's that, which is adorable. Sorry about that. Hubby was calling my name. So um, anyway, yeah, it feels really thick. So let's move on to the next thing. Hopefully I won't get called away again because I've restarted this video like three times. So getting <laughs> getting irritated. All right. So you can probably tell. I'm sorry, guys. It's just I've been cleaning all day and cooking and I'm just getting irritated because I really just wanted to jump into my box. OK, so you get this old timey stamp. I thought that this had like a and percent on it, but I guess it doesn't. It's just plain. Oh, no, there it is. Here it is, there it is, the Archer and Olive Ampersand, and it's a date. It's a little date stamp, like library, dink, dink. It's adorable. I'm gonna use it for sure, I love that. Okay, so we get that, and then this, which I, I heard some like people saying that they weren't super thrilled with these clips. I am in love with these clips, absolutely in love with these clips. So oversized clips to me are like the perfect thing when you're journaling to hold your book. Like, you know how when you get, the book starts to get really thick and look at how wide this goes. Like you could easily hold a pretty thick TN or B6 or even an A5, you could hold it open and then keep it from like chunking over or closing on you. These are beautiful. Or you can use them as decoration. You can use them to help hold something closed when it gets too chunky and you wanna like stick it into a smaller area. They are pretty tight though. So they might cause some denting on your books. So just be careful if you're going to use them to hold your books closed because this is pretty, uh, yeah, this is going to definitely hurt your book. <laughs> so I would put it there. Um, but yeah, I love these and I love the coloring, the fact that they look very antique -y. They very much remind me of old, like an old library. Okay, so they got those. Then there's the calligraph. Everybody knows that I like the acrylographs the best, but I have been using the calligraphs because I have a set of them that came in one of the other boxes. They sent, they, I think they tend to send these more than the acrylographs, but um, I've been using them quite a bit lately and I'm figuring it out. So it's just because I don't do a lot of stuff with like soft brush tip pens. Um, Because this is a soft tip, so you're going to have to be Everything I write with is hard, and even this side is a soft tip. So it's not that easy to write with it if you're not used to it. But I love the fall colors in here. Like, it's supposed to be book colors, which actually it's pretty close to my kit that I have coming out in December, Cozy Books. It's pretty close to those colors, so maybe this is a good book-related color scheme that I picked. <laughs> Because apparently it is because Archer and Olive has it in their box. Ooh, I love that. It's a green. Look at how pretty. And then this blue. I don't have a blue in mine. I have a red. It's like a burgundy red in my kit. There. But now that I see the blue, I kind of wish I had blue in it. That's beautiful. So these are the colors that are the calligraphs. And the names of them aren't on them. So you just have to look at your box. Mocha, golden brown, yellow, okra, slate blue, and umber are the colors in this box. So there's those. Getting myself a nice little stash of those. All right. I'm saving the last two, the best for the last. So here are some stickers, which these are really cute. I wish I had these the other day when I needed them. Some um, alphas. But you've got two, two different alphas here and two different fonts so you got white in the I don't know what font this is but it looks like just a regular like almost typewriter font you've got in the bright white and then you've got in kind of like that um off-white same same fonts but two two sets and two different fonts so if you can see the difference in the colors there hopefully but yeah and there's circles so these are really cute very useful all right, so let's get into these guys. Look at this. Look at the box that it's in. I'm keeping every little last bit of this and it's going to stay on the shelf just like this. 
because it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what I'll use them for as far as like the, the actual use of them, but I have a bookcase, like it's almost like a library um, out in my living room. And I've got like all of my favorite books in it. And I think that these would go perfectly out there just as like a part of the bookcase. So inside, this one is dot grid, but look at this. This is a debossed. And then you got the gold flowers, both sides. And then same thing on the back. The debossing is like a gray. Uh, it smells, it even smells good. And then on the inside is a dot grid. If I was going to use any, it would be the dot grid. Because I know this one is lined. I know everybody has their favorite type. But oh, beautiful is this. It's got the debossing. The red faux leather. And then the gold gilding. It says noted. And then on the inside of this one is the lined. And it's got your. And percent in there. So this one is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. So pretty. And then you've got your little elastic to hold it shut and your pen loop on both of them. So this is like personal size notebook size stuff, but even the box is pretty. Like even the box is nice, but if I put it on the shelf, it would be like this facing this way because it's gorgeous. So there's that one. And then you've got your big, your big book, which again, the box itself is gorgeous. Like just keeping the box on the shelf is fabulous. And it's got a magnetic closure, so you can reuse this box for sure. And then on the inside, you have this beautiful book. There it is. Okay, let me get it all opened up. So again, with the debossing, and this is in a very dark blue. And then this is a linen cover. And then you've got, it looks almost like... I think it's supposed to be a silver, but it's a matte silver. It's got the book with the leaves coming out of it. And then on the back, the whole thing is in that blue, which I would have liked that better on this side. But anyway, and then, oh, how pretty is that spine? It is absolutely gorgeous. Then when you open it up, you've got your dot grid in the bright white. And you have your little archer and olive. This one's in gold. Probably should have done this in silver. Just, just say because the rest of it's silver, but there's no other gold on here and that's gold. So it's a little off, but it doesn't look bad. It just, I don't know, just a thought. <laughs> and then on the front, the book, this book belongs to, and in the back, back, you've got every single one of their books comes with this like gusseted pocket back here. So you can put your little extras in it. So there it is. There is everything that came in my Archer and Olive quarterly subscription. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I love every single little tiny little bit of this. So anyway, I only have one more thing coming. I'm very excited about it and I will share it with you. And then that'll be the end of the September haul. So yep, just stay tuned and I'll be back in just a minute with the last thing. Okay, next up is not going to be the end of the video, even though I thought it was. I have a couple more things that I picked up that's coming in, hopefully before the end of the month, because it's technically only the 20th. So there's still 10 more days in this month. So if that other stuff comes in, I will add it to this um, video. But this is the one that I've been waiting for. So this is my Planner Perfect. And I've been kind of talking about it a little bit, but this is my first time ever ordering from them. But I really like the idea of having everything in one book that I can take with me and just throw in my purse or in my bag or whatever and have like literally everything in it. Um, this will be my main like idea book, shop book, calendar, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to kind of go through. I haven't even looked at it yet. It literally just came in the mail. So the books themselves come in this really pretty little pouch. And then I did buy like I need... I don't need this. Like I need this like I hold my head. I have like a million <laughs> covers, but I don't have any, any from Planner Perfect. And I wanted to make sure that I got a cover that I knew for sure would fit these books. So I got the personal wide. Let's see if I can get them out of here. It's a pretty tight little fit here for these books. I don't know how they got them in there. So what I ended up getting was... The daisies, and this one is just a dot grid because I wanted um, it to be like a shop one. And it's the daisies, um, even though it's not season, like it's not in season right now because we're getting into winter. It can still, it's still going to go in there. And then I got the planner with the apples 
And then this one is, yeah, this is the actual planner itself. So when you open it up, it says write a better story. And then you've got the months. So this one has all the months in it. It's like months, blank, blank, month, blank, blank. It goes all the way through the whole year. So this is the monthly calendar for 23-24. Then I got this one, which is the planner itself, which I just wanted to test it out because I just wanted to see how it would look with stickers in it. But you get your, your weekly amount of blank couple few blanks and then a weekly and then a couple few blanks so I thought it doesn't go very far it's only for a couple I think it's only for the month of November so this is just for the one month yeah it's just for the month of December I mean month of November and then it's a bunch of blank pages so you would have to get a new one of these every month if you wanted to do this monthly I just wanted to test it out and see because I think this is a lot for one planner and I still have another Look at how cute he is. He's so cute. This is another just plain dot grid. So I have all of these to go in this. So I picked up, I don't know the difference of all of these. I'm not super savvy on these leather planners, but how pretty is that? That is so pretty. And then when you open it up, oops, this goes this way. Hold on. Ooh, I'm, I, to be honest, this is my first actual leather. Um, planner. I've never had real leather <laughs> before and it it smells good. It reminds me of going into like a hat shop or like a like you know where they sell cowboy stuff. There's a little um book in here with note pages which I don't need. And then these guys are all going to go in here. So I think what I'm going to do since it's not quite well, no. I don't know how I want to set it up. So this is the November planner. So we'll put this first. But there's room in here for four, which is why I bought four is because I wanted to see how comfortably, let me pull this nice and tight, how comfortably four of these journals would go in here. And then this is just a plain dot grid. And then the planner, the actual monthly planner, and then another plain dot grid. So I do have plans for each one of these, but, oh, look at that. How pretty is that? It smells so good. And then this goes over the top. Got a little pen loop. I have to get some, like, that stuff that you buy for leather care. I have to get some of that. But then you also have a place to put some stuff. So you got a couple pockets here. So you can put some extra stickers in here, maybe a couple little extra things in here. And then you've got this in the back for notepad or whatever that you want to stick out of here. Um, and then I've seen some people on Etsy that sell inserts for this. So if you take one of these out and put an insert in here, it also has pockets. So if you needed like something with pockets that would go in here, there's somebody on Etsy. I don't know who it is, but I'm going to go search for it and see. Um, and they, they make inserts for these, not just, you know, Planner Perfect, but they make inserts for this style of journal. So that's it. This is the only part I have for this particular video because I was waiting for this and now I can set it up so I can take it to work with me this week and get it all put together the way that I want it to be. So anyway, stay tuned. I do have some more and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I got my Sweet Kawhi Design order in. This was from another $2 Tuesday. Obviously, some of this stuff wasn't $2, like this fantastic album, which I'm going to show you. This album is bigger than even the 6x8 album. I'm not sure what size this is exactly. I thought when I was picking it up that it was a, um, like the same ones that I get from Avalon and Ninth, which is 6x8, but I thought it's bigger. It's not wider. See? But it is bigger and that's where I keep my sweet kawaii design in right now because these these sheets are bigger than what would fit in a five by seven so I figured I'd order one of these that actually goes with sweet kawaii design stuff but these are much much taller so this is gonna be awesome and look at how stinking cute I love these guys so much so getting better Simon Frank and Poe and then on the back it's Bo and Connie and uh, um, 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 George. Yep. 
get better. <laughs> I'm going to get these down, but this is stinking adorable. Okay, so I got that. And then, and the reason why I'm hauling this right this second is because I'm packing up my bag for work and I want to put these stickers right here in there so that I can use them in my daily planner. So I picked up some washi. This is the Halloween washi. Open it up. This one's going straight into my bag. I'm actually doing some um, like pre-planning stuff for October, so this is perfect. All right, let's get out a paper. This is so stinking cute. Hang on, sorry, gotta get it started. It's a cold and rainy day today, so if I got like I got like goosebumps, I need to throw on my sweatshirt. But ready? Let me zoom you in so you can see how stinking cute this is. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I'm a sucker for all things Halloween anyway, but this is just like makes my heart happy. So I got that. Let me zoom you back down. So that's going in my bag, and then this is the freebie, which I already have one, but this is fantastic. I also bought these pens. Hold on. Uh, here they are. We're going to do a pen test on one of the sheets that I don't mind. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, too? I forgot to put one of the PR girls on my order. Dang it. Okay, so I'm going to write down here. Oh, this is smooth. So it writes good. It writes very nicely. This is this pen, the one that she says. So let me put it right there so you can see it. So that's a pen test. And then... I'm touching it and it's not really smearing, maybe a little bit. So you might have to give it a couple seconds to, yeah, you're gonna have to probably give it a couple seconds to dry, but much better than any other pen that you're gonna try to use on these vinyl stickers. So fantastic. So that's this pen right here. I ordered them on Amazon because I couldn't find them at the local, um, I couldn't find them at the local like Staples or Office Depot or any of that stuff. So I ended up ordering them from Amazon. So there's that. And then I told you that, Actually, I haven't told you yet because I haven't put that video up yet, but in a plan with me, I talked about these guys right here, but how stinking cute is this? This is your little card, the washi card that needs to go with me as well. Just making my little pile to go in my bag, but I picked up all of the dating sheets for all of the characters, the main characters. So we got Bo, George, Peggy, Ho, and these are so, kiss it. <laughs> I love that Poe wants to be very sarcastic. And then Simon. Simon's got a cat. So these are the little dating sheets with a whole bunch of stickers on it. This is stinking adorable. I already have Frank, so I wanted to get some more of them. So there's that. And then I picked up a couple more kits because it was $2 Tuesday. And I wanted to get a winter kit. So I got this one. Cozy Critters. This is your page two. I love this little candles on there. Oh, this is adorable right here. And then these. So this is Cozy Critters. Let me put that right in the front where you can see it. And then I picked up this one, which was, oh, the travel one, because we're going to Florida in November. And I wanted to have a kit for that. So this is the travel one. So here's all the boxes for the travel kit. And it's stinking adorable. I love this so much. Here's your page two. Oh, Connie. She's so cute. And three. I wish that there were more pages, like that there was more to it. But like I said in the plan with me that you will probably see before you see this video, in that plan with me, I talked about um, at least I get to use my leftover, like all my leftovers, and I get to use my Avalon and Ninth uh, functional bundles that I have 500,000 of. Usually you can find colors that go along with this pretty well. So that is everything from Sweet Quiet Design, and I'll be right back with Itty Bitty Sticker Co. and Pinnacle Sticker Co. Okay, so next up we have the last of everything that should be coming in this month. So I've got Pinnacle Sticker Co., I've got Itty Bitty Sticker Co., I've got my Coffee Monsters Co., and I've got my newest subscription that I've never had before, and this one's called Magic Delivered. So we'll go over that one last since it's this big old box. And first I'm going to do Pinnacle Sticker Co. I'm going to be using one of these kits with, I actually have the foil sitting right here this gorgeous foil so let me put that there okay so card this is your little card that comes it's pinnacle sticker co and then i picked up 
So this one is Cozy Autumn. So these are the full boxes. She has like a really um, like cool way to pick your kits. Like you can, I think you can individually pick each page if you want, or you can bundle them all together in different sizes um, kits. So this one right here is absolutely adorable. Look at how cute that pumpkin is. He's so stinking adorable. This isn't the one I'm using the foil with. This is just one of the kits that I really, really wanted. So we got that one. And then you got a washi page. And then you got your checklist page. And I love how she puts like these little, like this little, I think these are corn. No, nope, those are leaves, pumpkins, and hearts. And then all of your like functional stuff at the bottom. Then you've got, look how stinking adorable these are. This is going to be a, a super cute kit. And then you've got all of your brushes. And then your doodle page, which is my favorite page ever. So there's that one. There's construction going on outside. So if you hear weird stuff, it's the people next door that are doing construction. Okay, this is the one I'm going to use this foil with. This one is called Leaves and Lattes. And this is the foil that I'm going to use with it, which is absolutely stunning. So this one is from Tiny Little Tulip. And then I thought it would go really, really well with this. You guys know my love of coffee. And then it's fall. So, you know, those two things. So we have a deco sheet. Your nine full boxes, your washi, and your strips. This one has coffee leaves and more leaves. And then this page, your functional page. Sorry, yeah, gotta get it, get it apart. Come on. It's just me fumbling. Oh, I like that she put the, I didn't notice that on the website, that she put the little things in the brushes and then your doodle page. So that one is the one that I'm going to be using this foil with. So I'm going to put those together so I don't mess it up. And then I also picked up, oh, here's the doodles for the Cozy Autumn. This is the deco for that. And then I picked these up. So these are the, this one's called Boo Party. And this is on the vellum washi paper. Look at how stinking cute the ghosts are. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And the bats. I can't wait to use this. These I'm going to pair with some Halloween washi and use them in my daily pages. And then the freebies. I'm like totally out of order here. <laughs> Here's all the freebies. So you get this one here. This is the all order freebie. This is the $15 freebie. I love this cat. Even though I'm not a cat person, I love this. It's like a little mini doodles page, a little mini brushes page, and then you've got four full boxes, some washi and some date covers. So you've got basically an entire mini kit right here in freebies that you can tear your way up to. And I think this is for the entire month of September. So there's still, she does this every month. So every month there's a new collection and there's freebies that you can tear your way up to. And then I got some doodles. I got some Jane doodles. So fall scarf Jane which is adorable. Look how stinking cute she is. She's so cute. Also, make sure you can see her okay there. What's going to bring the focus up. And then look at how cute these little coffee Janes are. Ah, pumpkin spice latte Jane. Adorable. Let me put it back down so you can see it down there. Okay, so that is everything that I got from Pinnacle Sticker Co. And this was from the last sale that she did um, this month. So there's that. Okay, so next up, we have Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And I got two washies. I got this adorable, one of my absolute favorite collections. This is the wonderful Wizard of Paws. So there's a whole collection of all different book covers, which is my favorite kit that she's ever done. And this is the dashboard. Then the freebies. Look at how the cute these little paws are. I almost bought this kit. I almost got it. I almost did. Okay, then we've got currently reading, highlights, and a little notepad here. So those are the freebies. Then I'll show you the washies. So I picked up a fall washi and a Halloween washi. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. So there's those, which are stinking adorable. And I did, wait a second, there we go. I did roll them out for you. So absolutely love this, the little witch and the werewolf and the mummy. And I think that's Frankenstein. And then I love all like the little Halloween books, the fall books. And then this one is the fall book shelf so really 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 cute and oh look this one it has it even has um mushrooms in it i didn't even see the mushroom the first time the acorns and the apples it's so stinking adorable so cute let me make sure this is in focus there sorry <laughs> this whole time it's probably been fuzzy and i apologize i can't see it's above my eye level so i have to like tippy toe it so that i can see up that high um and realize that you're not in focus okay halloween kit Stinking adorable. This one says Molly loves Halloween reading mini kit. So this one matches that washi that I got. 
stinking adorable. It's a four page kit. I think you get a three or a four page and I always pick the four page. I love the date covers. And then this page and then I got the fall reading which also goes with the washi. For once I finally remembered to get the kit to match the washi instead of just loading up on the washi. She does such a good job with her washi. Love those date covers too. And then the page four. So that is everything that I got from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Set that off to the side. We were having some technical difficulties earlier, so the first time I filmed that, it wasn't, it didn't show up. Then we have our subscription from the Coffee Monsters Co. Came with three washies, which are adorable. I'll roll those out in a second. So I get two subscription. Well, I get the everything subscription. So there's a couple different, there's three different choices. One is just the sticker kit or the sticker sub. The second one is these like extra things. And then the third one is everything together. So I get the third one, which is everything together because I want all the Coffee Monster Co. things. And oh my gosh, how stinking adorable is this envelope? I wonder if there's a way for me to, yeah, I wonder if there's a way for me to use that. Anyway, so let me go through this first. Look at this pocket. I'm gonna add this pocket to my A5, should be coming soon. I pre-ordered the Aura Style A5 and I wanna put this in it. So when I start my new one, I've got this cute little pocket that I can put my, my little emojis in. And then you get a vinyl. So this is the vinyl. It's like in a black and white and it is stinking adorable. I love all these little to-do lists. It says to do all over it, little checkbox. It's absolutely adorable. This one's black and white, it's vinyl. And then, this all matches it. So there's these little itty bitties. Or here, let me get you closer. Little itty bitties. So these are called the mini icons and these are all very tiny. These would be perfect for my Hobonichi weeks. So that's where I'm gonna use that. I also ordered from Aura Stella. I pre-ordered her version of the Hobonichi week. So I have that coming as well. As soon as the pre-orders ship, I will share those with you. This washi, which is that same like muted grays and like, really light browns. There's not a lot of color pop in this because it's a very muted palette. And then these are the washi, this is washi paper, by the way, washi paper. This is washi paper, which is like that vellum, see-through vellum, little notes. And then this is regular sticker paper with all of the little to-dos and all that stuff, which is absolutely adorable. I love this with the little crown. And this one on top of all of the little planners, it's adorable. Oh, I like that too. I wonder if she's going to do a whole sheet of those because I like that a lot. I would use that quite a bit in all of my spreads as a divider. That's a cute divider. Anyway, that's that. And then I'm going to leave you close up so that you can see. Look at how stinking cute this is. Yeah, I love this. I'm saving this one as well for my new setup because I put these on the outside of my Oristel. So I'm going to save that one as well. And then this one has this couple sticker sheets in it, which these ones are foiled and they are adorable. It's got that like fall theme. Well, it's got a fall theme, but it says the July doodles. Yeah, this is the July doodles, but it's got the mushrooms and the apples and it's got like a very fall feel. So she's like way, way seasons ahead, which is fantastic. I love that. So these are here just in time for us to use them. I love that. And then this one is the date covers with like the jams and it's got little numbers in it. And I love that as well. Then there's a lanyard and a little uh, like lanyard where you can put something in it and then you clip it on it and it's got these, which this would be super, super cute for the upcoming um, Sugary Gal Shop. Not, is it SGS convention? I think she's at the SGS convention. Yeah, so this would be really cute if you had this on and then you ran into Helen. <laughs> I think it would be adorable. So there's this with your little holder for your badge. And then there's a little stamp, which is adorable. Look at that little when well, this is gonna look so cute next to Leafy. <laughs> it's like a little, it's like a little sprouted emoji head. And then we've got our washi. So let me roll out the washi. Cause it's adorable. My Coffee Monsters Co. washi collection is getting huge and I love it. I'm very excited about it. And the hardest part for me with this washi is figuring out which ones I want to take with me. Like I'm trying to figure out how to organize myself better when I take stuff with me. Um, because I just end up taking all of it <laughs> and I have like this giant uh, pouch full of Coffee Monster Skull Washi. So I got to figure out a better system for what I take with me to work. Okay, so this one is the Emoti Heads, which are adorable. 
I love this. And it's I love the fact that all of her washi is very neutral. So it goes with a lot of different kits. So you've got a lighter one and a darker one. And I'll bring it up closer, no worries. And this one is also adorable. But I think the only place that you can get these is in the subscription. So if you want this washi, you need to subscribe. Because I don't think I've ever seen this washi available. Like as of just that you could just purchase. But I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a Coffee Monsters Co. expert by any means. But I do try to order all the washies. Look at how stinking cute this is. Um, the only one that's foiled is this one up here. And it's got little gold hearts. I don't know if you can tell on my camera or not. But I love this. This is fantastic. Well, this little mushroom is growing off the little house. This is adorable. Oh, look. I didn't notice him before. But the little, the little duck back there. Little quacker. Anyway, that is all of the stuff that came in my Coffee Monsters Co. subscription. I just ordered. They shed a pre-order. Not a pre-order. Yeah, pretty basically a pre-order for um, the fall washies and some other stuff. So I got, I did do that, but it's, it says right on the website, months. So you're going to wait months for that. I will back up the camera in just a second, but this is my very first subscription to magic delivered it is a quarterly box and obviously you can tell by the name that it is a harry potter themed kit so let's open it up Ooh, that's pretty so double double toil and trouble so here's your little menu of everything that's in it which i'm not going to look at because i don't want to be spoiled but i love that that's beautiful so this is one of those ones where you get like a lot of um it's themed so obviously this is a potions themed kit and then you get uh t-shirts so and they are staff they're staff t-shirts so we can see on this side you've got little cauldron this is gold and glittery it says staff on the front pocket and then when you flip it over it has, <laughs> ask me about our self-stirring cauldrons, available in new and secondhand models. How stinking adorable is this? So this is the t-shirt. So every time you get this subscription, there will be a staff t-shirt in whatever theme they are doing. So what else is in here? There's a spoon with a little, oh, it's a pen. <laughs> it's a pen with a little cauldron in the end, like a little wooden spoon. And what's this? This is, oh, I think it's a scarf. It looks like a scarf. Let me figure out where the opening is. Here it is. I'm going to move the box over because it's taking up an awful lot of space. Sorry about all the crinkles. Little extra strings for me. I think. Yep, yeah, it's a it's a scarf. It's a really long one. Ooh, that is pretty. Look at that pattern. It's gorgeous. It's all very potions, very magical. This is something I would probably put like on the back of my recliner. Because I don't wear scarves, but it's gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. I like it. I moved my got too much stuff on my desk. That's pretty. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's pretty. Okay, next. Let's pull these out. So these are a little oh it says something on them. By the pricking of our thumbs, I think it probably has like a spell into each one of these. So this is, these are working functional ones. This is a half a teaspoon. So you can use these in your kitchen. This one says fire burn and cauldron bubble. This one says double, double toil and trouble. And then this one says something wicked this way comes. So how stinking cute are those? I love that. Love, love, love that. And they're, they're heavy. These are wood. Yeah, this is pretty heavy. Those are nice. I don't know if I would use them in the kitchen. All right, what's in here? Oh, it's a book. It's a book. Let's see the book. Oh, look at that gold. You see it? Oh, that's pretty. 
I love this little book. This is going to look really good up on my Archer and Olive shelf where I have all my journals. And look, at it's printed along this, the edges. Oh, that's pretty. And then the pages on the inside have a little potion bottle. So, and there are they all like that? Yep, they're all like that with the little cauldron and then the flowers. Yeah, it's aligned. And it has little black page marker. That's cute. I like that. That's going to look good up on my shelf. I probably will never use it, but it looks good up on my bookshelf. And we have two more. So, let's see what this one is first. So, this is the, it looks like it's some type of a cauldron. Oh, is this an incense? I think it's an incense burner. It's very staticky. Very, very, very staticky. I don't know how you're supposed to burn it. Let's see what it says. Place incense burner on a stable, heat-resistant surface with no flammable items nearby. Hold the incense cone in one hand with some tweezers. Pointy end of incense cone to incense. Oh, you light it. Gently blow out the remaining flame. Oh, you light this guy. And then you drop it in here. And I guess it comes out. Here's a little hole. So that's what that looks like. I've never burned incense before. So this is what this looks like. <laughs> My husband just walked in. Okay. And then it comes with a bunch of these, which I have no idea what they smell like. And I don't want to open it, but I'm not a big incense person. But this is cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm not really sure. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll find an incense that I actually like and I'll use it. So this one, this big tall box, this has, oh, it has a water bottle. And it's already all stickered up for you. So you have, put the screws on the top. Like this looks like wood, but it's metal. And then it has all these stickers all over it. Master Herbologist approved for greenhouse use. Look how cute. This is fun. Oh, look at that. I love that. Okay, so that is everything. That's everything that I got for the month of September. can't believe it's almost October. Um, I don't really have anything else I think that's coming, so this will be where I end the haul. But this is a really cute box. Um, it's only, Like I said, it's only quarterly. It's a little bit expensive, but I really got it because I wanted the t-shirts and I like, like all these like little extra doodads that come in it. Um, I think my least favorite thing in here is this pen. I don't know. I would never write with this. <laughs> like, as a person that is a planner and a journaler, this is not something I would ever write with. But it's cute, so it'll look good inside of, like, a little pencil thing, I guess. Anyway, so that's everything that came in. This is the Magic Delivered box. And then we had Itty Bitty Sticker Co. and Coffee Monsters Co. I think I ended this out pretty well. Thanks, guys, so much for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.